Hi guys, so I wanted to give you an overview of a uh, Guthrie Govan Charvel, one of the new model signature guitars that he's brought out. It's been over a year really since they released them, but there still doesn't seem to be a huge amount of information available on the guitars themselves, and only really a few people have posted videos of, of themselves playing them. So I just wanted to give you a close-up view with the camera and a little bit later. I'll play it, get some sounds, so you can all um, see and hear what it sounds like. Um, whether or not you think there's any point, you be the judge. stock um, one thing which looks pretty rubbish but is just the sticker is um, the guitar headstock is a registered trademark of Fender Musical Instruments Corporation and is being used with the express permission from FMIC it's just a sticker I could peel that off if I wanted to but I'm not really not that bothered um, those of you that are Sir fans would note that the Guthrie models of um, earlier days were actually laser engraved whereas the Chauvel this is just a printed transfer it's not engraved it's just been printed on there really really high quality spurts or locking tuners as you would expect they're quite smooth although I've never been a huge fan of these I always prefer Shala or Shayla or whatever you want to call them but they work very well the necks on these are absolutely gorgeous and it says on the website that they're satin finished these guitars and that is very true and I would go so far as to say that there's virtually no lacquer at all on them incredibly thin lacquer but they do have absolutely gorgeous flame I haven't seen one so far that hasn't had an amazing neck beautiful flame in terms of um, finish quality, if you look around, because of this satin finish, because it's so thin, you, you really do get kind of ripples where you see the grain of the wood kind of popping out at you, and that's not, it's not anything to be scoffed at, just the problem is that basswood is not particularly pretty as a wood, it's quite plain, so all you end up seeing is what looks like discoloration, but as the light changes you'll see that it's Kind of just the, the light reflecting. Tremel No. Um, there's loads of information on forums about the Tremel No, 
and about some of the problems that are inherent with it, to which I can definitely testify. You've got three little um, knobs, three little screws that are designed to allow you to lock uh, the bridge down so that it won't go up or down and, and effectively allow you to detune drop D or or more radical if you prefer without the whole guitar going out of tune so you can just isolate the one string and detune it and it does work very well for that purpose it works incredibly well one of the major problems is the thumb screws this is not new information to anyone who's looked this up but they can quite easily work themselves loose when they're not screwed down so there's nothing to stop them from coming out and also when they are locked down a rather unfortunate thing is that the tremolo now actually vibrates and causes quite a strong buzzing sensation from the back of the guitar um, when you've got the guitar turned up loud enough you can't hear it I haven't noticed it coming through in my playing at all so you could probably say that's not important and it wouldn't matter but when you're playing acoustically it is very very obvious and quite annoying so I really I like lots of my other guitars I don't like sitting downstairs playing this one acoustically it bugs me it just gets on my nerves <laughs> I've actually opened up the cavity, I'm not going to show you, um, but inside it's very neatly wired, everything looks great, but to my surprise there's Eddie Van Halen EVH pots in there, so they're clearly using um, excess stock, I guess, for the uh, potentiometers in, I would imagine, quite a few of these guitars, I can't imagine that they've just happened upon two for mine. So, flip it over. And we have one of the kind of key features, I suppose, about this guitar. Absolutely beautiful bird's eye maple top. Really stunning figure. Looks amazing. Looks very subtle from a distance, but as you get closer, really starts to pop out at you. Um, finish is great. It's really lovely. Uh, can't argue with that. One thing which was a surprise was how thin the top is. And again, doesn't make any difference to me. I'm perfectly happy with it. But if you're expecting a big thick maple cap, you will be quite surprised to find. I don't know whether you can see that. It's only between two and three millimeters thick. So the maple cap on this guitar is almost a veneer. It's very thin. But beautiful wood nonetheless. As we look at the pickups, inside there you can see that they've used really cool red. Um, base plates and mounting brackets for these pickups so they really do look great it's, it's like a to what is effectively a very earthy guitar it's a really beautiful um, red shimmer that just glimmers out at you it's quite it's a metallic red finish really really beautiful the bridge there we go um, lots of things on different websites about this bridge they say that it's um, an original Floyd Rose style bridge, one of the original ones without the uh, fine tuners, which of course it is, but I haven't been able to see any branding on it, and in several of Guthrie Govan's videos, they talk about the fact that this is Charvel, um, Charvel's take on it, Charvel have custom made this in the style of, and I can't verify that, only to say that it is. Um, very, very low profile, very flat, much the same as you would expect from a kind of a Stratocaster bridge. And um, it is effectively like a normal bridge, but with the functionality of the locking saddles, the locking strings. 
no complaints with um, tuning stability, etc. But I would point out that I am not a big user of trem arms. Not a fan at all of using the whammy bar. I tend to do the the kind of back press slight vibrato with them more than anything. <laughs> Spoke thrust rod adjustment, well if, if uh, what they say is true you should never really have to touch it, so kind of a pointless thing to have, but nice nonetheless. The neck and the inlays, absolutely gorgeous, I'm a big big fan of just natural woods, uh, just the use of them and to, to see such a simple but beautiful appointment on a guitar neck is just fabulous for me. So it's an ebony um, dark outer ring followed by the, the maple inside. This gives it a really subtle but very very cool look. Love it, absolutely love it. Frets themselves, stainless steel. They say they jump or super jumbo or something on the on the um, interviews. I'd say that they are jumbo. They're certainly not as big as the Ibanez guitar, um, the Ibanez RG. I had a while back so jumbo frets I wouldn't go so far as to say they were any bigger than any other type of um, jumbo fret <laughs> Again, just kind of a screen printed logo, no fancy inlays. Um, visually, I think it, because it's basically a Stratocaster, I think it actually kind of misses the uh, either the truss run access or the, um, the dowel that they usually fill in on the earlier Strat models. It just looks a little bit plain, but hey, you know, doesn't matter. Makes no difference. So overall a really lovely guitar, very very nice. Let's go down. Strap buttons are really big strap buttons. They are um, they're normal standard looking strap buttons but they are very very big. It took me a really long time to get the strap, the leather strap over the top of it and even longer to try and get these uh, fender strap blocks over the top. There's no way that is ever coming off of there. No way at all. And <clears throat> Look down at the join in the body. You can see that that uh, cap. You can see from there how thin it is. Three mil maybe, but it is beautiful. Really lovely join. Really, really nicely contoured around the uh, arm there. And uh, love it. <laughs> Very, very free moving, those EVH potentiometers. Um, there's no no form of reference or marker as to where you're at, but if you wind this one down to roughly where the screw comes in, so about there, then that's pretty much the sweet spot if you want to clean up a, a really dirty um, sound right there. Just on mine, probably. Tone pot. Fantastic, really, really smooth. One thing I noticed is whenever you get it out of your gig bag is that those pots always move. So you always fully, you've always wound down the tone fully and, and the same with the volume. They must rub and, and uh, see they move very, very freely. And the five-way switch. It is what it is, it's a five-way switch. In terms of sounds, from what I can gather, that is the neck humbucker, and don't quote me on this, there's not that much information. That position is, I believe, those two coils, again could be wrong, could be those two. Middle is middle. This one, um, position two, 
from what I understand is these two outside coils which is that kind of telly sound and it is really really good really effective and the final humbucker there are no coil taps nothing lifts nothing changes except for those five positions <laughs> So that's a quick look and overview um, and hopefully just a brief explanation as to some of the things which I was curious about when I um, was thinking of purchasing it. It is a gorgeous guitar, it's well made, it rings and resonates beautifully and there's something about the, uh, the, the, the notes when you play them that they actually swell out at you and um, if you play a chord it has almost like a you play the chord initially and then it, it blooms it really really comes out at you which is something i've never experienced personally with a guitar um so very very impressive really nice instrument really well made they do have a very high price tag um but i think the money's really gone into the woods i think the money's really gone in where it counts with a musical instrument and it's not just been tarted up and made to look all flashy it's just bare bones really resonant really beautiful instrument <laughs> very quick video to help everybody to understand the uh, pickup positions on the uh, Chauvel. Bridge humbucker position one. Position two is actually the inside bridge coil and the middle pickup. Position three the two outside coils and a little bit of noise coming from the inside humbucker so although that's not full strength I would go so far as to say that we've got the two outside coils and some of the inside coil on the neck position four is your middle and your outside neck position five humbucker. So that will go some way to explain why the uh, sounds that come out of these uh, pickups in the various positions are slightly different. Any further questions please feel free to post comments or ask. I'm more than happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching. Right so this is just another short video on the Charvel Guthrie Govan signature model. I'm going to take a look in the uh, back cavities to make sure that you guys know what's going on there. The information on the website is pretty poor regarding any of these details, so hopefully this will help you. Have a look in the uh, back of the trim. And uh, see the trim will know there. This particular, um, I don't even know what to call it, this particular locking screw is not very good at all. And there's plenty of play. That's as tight as I can get it. And that wobbles about backwards and forwards. That's no doubt going to have quite a lot to do with that vibrating that I commented on before. Um, same with this unit, it's got some wobble to it, some play in it, which again is just, if you've got something that vibrates inherently by design, then that's going to cause problems. The brass block at the back there is really, really thick, bulky, it doesn't extend all the way down. You can see how short it is compared to the overall width of the bridge, um, but it's really nicely made. And the holes are precision and everything else is just absolutely bang on, as you'd expect. Really quality craftsmanship. Down into the wiring. And we've got five-way super switch. With this camera I can get in nice and close. So you can see what's going on. Get it in focus for you. There we go. So you can see that you've got quite a unique wiring scheme as we pan out which lugs are being used if 
anybody out there wants to try and replicate this a little bit more um, the big chunky capacitor there we go it's got fender branding on it you can take a look at that in a moment let's go down into the into the uh, volume pot two little resistors there I am not um, particularly technically minded when it comes to wiring so if anybody wants to comment on those particular types then please do EVH pots as described before they are 500k potentiometers and there we go you see the tone control it's all been um, cavities been painted with shielding paint one last thing that I'll do is just see if I can get my little dentist's um, mirror in so we can have a look on the underside of that one very very hard to see what this writing says Lost focus. So it's about as good as I'm going to get it, I think. If anybody can uh, decipher that, then please do make a comment. Um, the only other thing that I can mention really is that that's Fender branded. As we know, Chavel is owned by Fender, as was. Uh, the EVH brand at one point so they've clearly been using up stock from from there nothing wrong with that doesn't make any difference particularly just an oddity something which um, it's always nice to know what you're buying I suppose at the end of the day and, and I would assume if Fender was happy to use those components in their guitars then Chavel would be happy to use them in theirs so it looks to me, um, in this untrained eye anyway, that all the wiring is very good and certainly the sound combinations coming from pickup configuration, um, just they sound great, they're just really really good, excellent quality. That's all for now, hopefully if you've, uh, hopefully that's um, given you the information you need but if you have any more questions do, do ask, I'll try and resolve any um, any questions um, as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. See you in the next video.